This is the Banner Saga. Uh, it's a, a game that was funded by a Kickstarter, very successful one, 700% over its goals, uh, more than a year ago now. Uh, a Linus version was one of the stretch goals, I believe, but they've uh, caught some flack from the community for not releasing a Linus version until yesterday. Uh, part of the problem was the game's implemented in, uh, was, was originally implemented with Adobe Air, which they, Adobe basically gave up on. So, uh, the game's a combination of a sort of a visual novel type thing with this uh, lovely hand-drawn classic cartoon style uh, with tactical turn-based combat. Uh, I'm still deep in the tutorial stages of the game, so uh, I probably have to pause and, and read some some stuff as we go along. I'll just resume and see if it's all right. So here's some story. <coughs> These two are lost in the woods. There's a bad guy. And we're straight into some combat. So it looks to me like uh, I've got an archer and uh, one of all many thing. Right. Let's uh, deploy them. There we go. <coughs> now, I've not used uh, an archer so far. So this is the combat. Um, you have a number of options. They are selectable with the stick. Right, so we'll end the turn. The turns are there at the bottom. You can see the order, and basically the good guys and bad guys alternate no matter how many how many there are. Alright, she can't attack either. Oh that does. Ooh, looks quite cool though. So we'll end turn. <coughs> He's getting hurt. So the first thing I want to do is move him away from that dude. And we'll attack him. Now, there's two things you can do. You can break armour, which is the blue column, or you can attack for damage. What I'm going to go for initially is break armour. Now you can add extra, extra impetus. Uh, I think, yeah, so he's got four possible impetus in each, each combat. I'm going to do that. Getting attacked again. So let's move her here. Yeah, so I want to do 
that. No, I can't do that. Well, I can do it. So, how far away can I get? Not far away. Let's choose to break his armour again. We'll give it more. He's going to die soon enough here. So let's let, get this lady into the, into the basis. Got his attention. Still that boy. He's really getting a beating, eh? So I'm not gonna move that. I'm just gonna give it to him. And that should be it. Three attacks, one health left. Got him. So that was a combat. I gained some renown. And now we should be back to some uh, more story. Now, I've been playing this for about an hour. This is the first time I've seen these two characters, so I couldn't tell you anything about them at this moment. So. So the way the conversation works is, so the character I'm looking at, he's the one talking. Um, let's try and hurry together before more dredge appear. Ah, we escape with some supplies. So. The majority of the game, as I understand it, is that uh, you're, you're travelling. So this three is three days on the road, I believe. We have 17 days of supplies. There's my little cart arriving at Spogger. So as you can guess, it's a very... Uh, uh, Scandinavian themed game. Very uh, sort of similar, similar to I Celtica. I never expected to see the dredge with my own eyes. What happened in the north? Already we see more between the trees as we approach our home, and Alette grips my hand tight. We must find Ivor. So as we're approaching more story section, let me just uh, talk some more about the game. I, I mentioned they released for Linux, um, and it was originally an Adobe Air game. So in order to do the release for Linux, they've basically rewritten the entire front end of the game in their own new engine. And then also, the Windows users have got this new engine. Uh, to make it worth everyone's while, they've also added full controller support with the update and um, uh, Steam Cloud saves. So uh, everybody's getting something. Linus users can get a game they've wanted for a long time. Here are, here are my allies.
I suspect we're going to get some more combat. Or oh, maybe not. Right, so now I'm going to head over to these houses to see what's going on. Okay, so some more strategy here. Like I said, I'm still in the tutorial stage of the game. Um, I don't think I've really taken it all in yet. And I strongly suspect I will have to replay the tutorial a bit at some point later. Once I've got a bit more of a grip on it. So, okay. I'm not really sure what difference it makes to me at this point. I'm sure I'll learn as I go on. Now there are some issues with the uh, Linux release. Um, if you have, if you have an Intel card, you're not going to be able to read the text in the menus. It um, just doesn't seem to work. Uh, also, I've seen issues with if you if you have it in full screen, the window just doesn't seem to register with my uh, my desktop my window manager and I had to flip between the uh, virtual consoles forward and back and sometimes I get it to work sometimes I don't um, I'll probably just stick to window mode for now so without further ado let's have one last combat and we shall see alright let's do a bit of uh, attacking attack anyone. Can I do this other thing? No. Let's end turn then. Now what's she going to do? Let's go over there and do the thread the needle thing. Move him up to attack the other big dude. Move him back to now. Nice, I like that. Just do some attacking. Oh no. Let's move so I can do some attacking. Nice. I like the look of that.
the braking. So, how's he doing? He's not dead yet anyway. Extra power, go. They're all surrounding my big dude, aren't they? Go. One down. Could be my first famous defeat. and everything. That she needs to move away. Let's move her a long way away. Reflecting. I get the impression all my people are going to die. Is what I get the impression. Killing off the big dude and hope we can Oh 
that we can then take him out. to one elf. We might manage it. There we go. Will she survive? No. Do left. Promoted. I've gained some renown. Don't hesitate to change the difficulty if a battle if it leaves you frustrated. So there you go. I should imagine that it gets quite tactical later on. I don't think we get penalties for people dying in the battles. Shoot it with an arrow. So Back to the uh, more adventurous parts. You saw there was the levelling up. Uh, you can improve your characters as you go along. We need to uh, we need to escape from our relentless enemy. And uh, I'll leave the video there. Uh, there's obviously a lot more to the game than what you've managed to see in this particular uh, short video. I think you probably get the hang of the combat though. And you've seen the, uh, you know, the more uh, adventure game slash uh, visual novel slash RPG elements uh, which are going on here. Uh, I think it has been a game worth waiting for. I'll, I'll certainly be playing it much more over the uh, over the next few weeks. I think. <laughs>